Exploring Picture Block Interface. In this video, we will see the interface of picture blocks. Once picture block application is installed in your mobile, click on picture block icon and picture block application will start on your mobile. Once picture block application starts on your mobile, you will get a arrow at the right hand side you have to click on next the moment you click on next picture blog application will start loading once the picture blog application is loaded on your mobile you will get a picture blog interface on your mobile wherein you will get a sprite a stage a scripting area a block palette a block you know this is called as an entire interface of picture block so now we'll see what is sprite a sprite is an object or a character which performs different actions in this project it understands and obeys the instruction given to it the bear you see in the image is a sprite his name is Toby. He will be your coding friend in PictoBlock. So by default in PictoBlock, we have a sprite named Toby. A sprite can be anything. It can be a cat. It can be an apple. You know. So a sprite can be anything. But by default in PictoBlock, we have a Toby. A sprite has costumes which are one of the many appearance of the sprite. Some sprites have multiple costumes. Then what is stage? A stage is the area where the sprite performs actions according to your program. You have to put codes, you know, you have to drag and drop codes and the moment you put on codes the sprite will do certain action based on the codes you can decorate the stage using images these images are called backdrops you can choose a backdrop from picture blocks in build library you can paint one yourself upload an image from your computer or even click a picture Okay, so basically a stage is the area where the sprite performs actions according to your program. Then we have a script. So what is a script? Basically it is a scripting area, the white portion, the scripting area. A script is a program or a code in picture block. It is a set of blocks that are arranged below one another in a specific order to perform a task or a series of tasks. You can write multiple scripts, all of which can then run simultaneously. You can write the script only in the scripting area, which is in the center of the screen. So basically, this white portion is a scripting area, wherein we need to write the script in a scripting area then we go for blocks so what are blocks a blocks is like a puzzle piece that is used to write program by simply dragging and dropping them below one and the another in the scripting area using blocks to write codes eliminates the error that might occur while writing codes in traditional programming language so basically blocks are puzzle pieces that is used to write program you have to just drag and drop below one another then block palette so what is block palette the block palette is under the code tab it consists of different palettes such as motion sound control etc each palettes have different blocks that perform different functions specified by the palette names so basically block palettes they have different functions under 
each codes like motion, sound, control, you know, operator, many things, etc. Okay, so that's it in this video. Thank you students. Stay home. Stay safe.